This is a NAES Interlibrary Loan System training video on how to print shipping labels from the Interlibrary Loan System. For today's video, we will be working as the Lilac Public Library. As you can see, I am already logged into the Interlibrary Loan account of the Lilac Public Library. In order to access the shipping label screen, you can go to quick link number one which is printing shipping labels in the default quick links. If you have changed your default quick links and need to add this back in, or if you don't want to use the quick link, you can find the, the printing screen from the staff dashboard under Interlibrary Loan Administration, Print Shipping Labels. Both paths will take you to exactly the same place. We are now looking at the available shipping labels for the Lilac Public Library. So these are all of the things where Lilac is the lender and that are in shipped status only. We can choose to display various things that might be printable from these boxes across the top of the screen. This is only affecting what is displayed. It is not affecting what will print. You'll have to make a separate step to choose specific things to print. But right now, the default is to show shipped status only and unprinted labels only. I can change that to say returned status only. So these would be things that had been returned, I don't have any on this account at the moment, or both shipped and returned. Shipped status only seems the most uh, straightforward and the least likely to cause confusion because these are all the things I need to ship from my collection to someone else. Now the default is also to have unprinted labels only, but if I wanted to reprint a label, I could say printed labels only, so I can see things I've printed before and want to print again, or I can have all my labels, both printed and unprinted, um, so I can see everything that is there. It is still only in shipped status, but these are shipped things that I have printed before and that I have not printed. I can tell which is which from the print status column over here on the right-hand side. I'm gonna go back to unprinted labels only, shipped status only. Now in addition to being able to change the display options here, I can also change what kind of printing I will do. The default is consortium labels, the other option is Avery 5160s. They are not particularly useful in our system because they are strictly formatted by the software to be mailing addresses and we don't use mailing addresses so they really don't do a lot for you so I would suggest just using the consortium labels so you would have print as consortium labels is your default if you wanted to change the things that are displayed across here you can do that as you did with any other request list display using this little gear uh, there is a video about arranging your request, customizing your request list displays, and that information would apply here as well. Um, this particular case, you can choose to have any or all of these things hidden. There's only a few of them, and they are pretty much all useful, so I wouldn't suggest that it's that good of an idea to um, unchoose any of them, but you can if you wish to do so. Um, you can sort your list here by any of the columns just by using the up arrows or down arrows to, to sort your list. My twos happen to all be the same library at the moment, so that doesn't really do a lot, but I can sort by title, I can sort by the print status, I can sort by whether I'm the borrower or the lender. If you have chosen to show all of your information printed and unprinted, shipped and returned all in a single display, that sorting becomes quite important. But we're gonna go back to having a shipped status, unprinted labels only. Okay, so in order to um, actually print something, I need to choose what I want to print. I can select all using this button at the top and that will click all the boxes for me, however many there are, or I could individually check them or uncheck them uh, depending on what I would like to do. So I'm gonna print my labels for Creamy and Crunchy but and Death Comes for the Archbishop but not for the Courage of Turtles. So I've 
selected what I want to select. I click Format to Print, and my print job displays for me. And it is one sheet per label. And I'm going to do the actual printing using my browser print capabilities. So depending on what browser you use, you may get different options. Uh, my browser is uh, Firefox, and it does allow me to scale my printing to larger or smaller. Um, you can do it. Please don't. Um, the van drivers would really like to have these be big enough that they can read them. So if you keep them at 100% printing, that would be strongly preferred. And then I would click Print, and it would print my label for me. Once I have done that, the list of available labels unprinted has now changed to just be the Courage of Turtles. My other ones are still there, but they are not displaying when I've chosen unprinted labels only. There is a delete button up here, which will allow you to delete a request from your shipping label list. I would strongly suggest that you don't do so, because you can't get it back again. Um, Requests will automatically delete from the list when the lend, if it's a borrow request, so something that's going to be returned, is going to disappear when the lender sets it to check in or lost. So once I've checked my thing in or I've marked it as having been lost, it disappears anyway. A copy request, um, so for a photocopy of something, disappears from the printable uh, list of labels as soon as the borrower sets it to received. So they got their copy, the thing is done, there'll be no returning. So there is a delete option here, but we I strongly suggest that you don't use it. The things will go away once they have finished with their usefulness in the system. All right, so to print a label, you choose the label, you format to print, you print through your browser, and then that's all there is to it. This is what your labels will look like once you have printed them. On the left, we see the full sheet, which has now been folded in half the long way, so I just have my delivery face up. If you fold it a second time to shorten it, um, you will then have a blank piece of the label, this white part from the bottom, showing on the back side of the label. This allows you to put the label into the book with the delivery and the address sticking out the top and on the back it'll be blank but it still allows the return information to be there so that when your lending partner is ready to send it back they can use that same piece of paper if they kept track of it. So here we have the front of the book and the back of the book with the delivery label all tucked in and ready to send on the van properly rubber banded and everything so nothing falls out. You are not required to use the printed labels from the interlibrary loan system. You may use your own pre-printed van labels if you prefer. There are guidelines on the State Library website that explain exactly what must be on those van delivery labels if you wish to create your own. If you do that, it will be very important for you to get the information that you need about the transaction to complete the van label. So we have returned now to our um, request manager screen and I can see here on the Lilac Public Library I have printed all my shipping labels but if I hadn't or if something went wrong with one of them and I wanted to redo it or if I'm going to use my own labels I can come here to the shipped transactions and these are things that I have already shipped and right here from this main screen I get the title I get my request number and I can see where it is that it's going so training is the town in the case of our training libraries and then Birch Public is the address so if I was filling out my own slips I could do it from here once I have shipped everything I come back to the request manager screen bring up my list of things that have that are shipped and now waiting for the partner to respond to them and fill out my slips and putting the request number on each one and addressing it for van delivery to training Birch Public. There is information, as I mentioned, about using the training labels on the State Library's website. There's also a handout um, on our training page 
about van delivery labels from the interlibrary loan system and on that handout it explains where you will find details about creating your own van slips. If you have questions about how to print shipping labels, please contact the NAES Help Desk at 603-271-2141 or send us an email at the address on your screen.